We did it! We are finally in New Zealand. In this video, you'll see our travel day from Johannesburg, South Africa, all the way to New Zealand to a town called Whangarei. My name is Chantal, Craig is behind the camera for now, so stick around if you want to see our entire travel journey. Just arrived at the airport, our bags are packed, finally, and um, we're gonna go get some coffee with Chantal's parents. Just got our bags wrapped, we're gonna go get some coffee now. We just arrived at Aratombo, we're about to fly to New Zealand. From Joburg. My parents brought us here to the airport, so we're having one last coffee with them. My mom promised no tears, <laughs> not. <laughs> Yeah, it's gonna be sad. Yeah. Don't know how much we're gonna film of that, but we'll probably see you just now. Our whole life packed up in one suitcase and one backpack each. Can you believe it? This is crazy. We are worried about our bags because mine is a little bit over. It's 300 grams over, so I'm a little bit worried. <laughs> This is also where we say goodbye. <laughs> Immigration and moving overseas is not for the faint hearted. It's really hard to say goodbye. Yeah. Like harder than you think. <laughs> it's not easy. Even though you know it's not forever, it's still hard. So, yeah. Not and easy. you're excited. It's a new adventure, but yeah. it's still hard. <laughs> We're gonna go check in now. Okay. The Singapore counts is just to my right, so we're gonna go see if we can check in. So. We threw my bag was 400 grams over, Craig's was 100 grams under, so but they, they allowed it. Yeah, I think if you like a kilogram over, that will be a bit fussy. I mean, our whole life is in that bag, so it should be more. <laughs> now we need to go through immigration and then. <laughs> we want to go to the lounge and just relax. It's been a stressful few days. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Passport control was so efficient. We weren't even in that line for five minutes. But it's so cool to see it so busy again. Even the restaurants around International was yeah. buzzing it's today and it's a Sunday. <laughs> so that was cool. We're going to go to the Bitbase lounge again, our favorite. another coffee now in Bitvest, something to eat and now we can just relax. Our going away party was so much fun, we were in the sun all day, we had a photo shoot and then we danced in the evening till about half past eight and then we went home. Probably not the best idea but we had to say goodbye to our family and that was the perfect day. No regrets. <laughs> Three hours flew so quickly in that lounge. I yeah. can't even believe we were there that long. It's one o'clock now and we're heading to... Gates, okay, so I think it's a 15 and 16. The Bitface lounge as usual, awesome, great food. We got in there with Craig's credit card benefits, but you can also pay to go in. I think the international lounge is about 450 Rand or something like that. We bought a bottle of water for the plane and it was 30 Rand for a small bottle. Just spotted our plane and our boarding gate is literally on the opposite side of the airport to where the Bitface Lounge was. And it's hot. Getting our steps in for the day. <gasps> We're flying on an Airbus A350-9, which is a really nice airplane. I'm really excited. This plane is full. <laughs> Finally we're on the aeroplane. It's so full and there's no space for our backpacks above us. So it's in one of the rows at the front. Whenever the seat belt side is turned on, an oxygen mask will automatically drop. We all, we in the middle seats, so we can't show you out the window. Sorry. So we can 
choose between sweet and sour pork or chicken pasta and we both meet with sweet and sour pork. We have a dessert, crackers and cheese, a bun, main meal which is our sweet and sour pork. Ten hours later and we're about to land in Singapore. It's like midnight South African time and almost six Singapore time. Yeah. We already had breakfast, it's weird. <laughs> so we've got about a two and a half hour layover and then it's another ten hour flight to Auckland. Yeah. Oof. Fun days. I sleep most of the time and this helps a lot. We just got our air legs for our flight to New Zealand. Dipti came herself to give it to us. She is the creator of air legs. It comes with a carabiner, so you can just hook it onto your backpack. You literally open it up, put the strap to whatever length that you want. You put your tray table down, you slide it through the handles of the tray table. Put your tray table back up and it hangs down and you put your feet in. I watched the movies and I actually watched the US Open Final Love, which was quite cool. We didn't show you much on this flight because it was dark and also I uh, was feeling nauseous a little. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Next time we're sitting here. Just a piece of advice is don't rush when you get off the aeroplane because <laughs> when you rush, stuff. yeah, you forget stuff behind. Just take it easy, especially if you're if you have a longer layover. We have two and a half hours. We're in Changi Airport, our favorite, favorite airport. As you come out of the plane, there yeah. is a board that gives you the connecting flight information. Like you can't miss it, it's so big. That's where you see which gate you need to go to next. We got out of A15 and we on our way to B10, which is all the way at the end. So I'm gonna cheat and do this. There are quite a few cool things in Changi Airport and we just found one of them. It's the movie theater, which is free. So cool. Very cool. Also in Terminal 3, you'll find a butterfly garden. I can't see a single butterfly because it's so dark, but it's really nice and it's so humid. There is so much to do and see at this airport, but it's so hot <laughs> and we are pretty tired. And Craig is my hero, he got me an ice cold Coke. Although it's 7 in the morning or 1 a.m. in South Africa. <laughs> There's also free Wi-Fi here. I just connected and you get access for about three or four hours. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, pretty simple. No passwords, no emails, anything. So connected my WhatsApp's coming. I went so so quickly here. That's also the reason why we didn't look for a lounge. We freshened up a little bit, brushed our teeth. Now for another 10 hour flight. <laughs> Ooh, that's a lot, eh? Another 10 <laughs> hours, but we can do this. We're flying now with Air New Zealand straight to Auckland. And then Craig's awesome new boss is gonna actually fetch us from the airport. That's so cool. We've just been through security and we're waiting now to actually board the plane. We can see the plane right here. It feels a little bit chaotic. I don't know why they're rushing people. If you have a water bottle with you, it has to be empty. And there's a place that we can actually fill it up here inside. And then you also have to present your travel pass, which Craig did beforehand. He's like amazing with all the paperwork and stuff. He just received a link and he went on it and completed it. And it's got to be printed out. We're on the plane and we're back to wearing masks. Just so prepare for takeoff. You must now start your trip. Just got our dinner and um, we're having the chicken with paprika potatoes. Looks good. When we took the plane, we um, were served like breakfast, and now it's two hours ago, and I'm serving that. Yeah. <laughs> It's half past 10 and we're in Auckland 
and we've got to go through immigration now, so hopefully that goes well. In New Zealand has been really amazing. The people are so friendly, the air hostesses and all the snacks you get, even delicious chocolate ice cream. I really enjoyed this one. Just a short walk and we're almost at border control. We've got our bags, we've arrived safely, we've gone through immigration, so it's pretty much done. <laughs> we are here. So we had quite a few checkpoints that we had to go through, including like a biohazard, so if, if you have any medication and things like that, it's best to declare it, even if it's just headache tablets. I declared my Mypridols and then just asked me what medication I have. We're on the way to an Airbnb now. It's pretty cold here in Auckland right now. But it's so nice after sitting in the hot airports for the last 24 hours. What a long 24 hours. <laughs> but also it went like this. We're at the Airbnb now with the most amazing view. It's 1.30 in the morning New Zealand time. That means it's what, about 3.30 or something in South Africa. Our body clocks are gonna have to adjust quite yeah. a bit. <laughs> I'm not really tired, it's weird. I feel like I should sleep later, but uh, I'm gonna try. So everything at the airport went very well, just stay calm, they're not there to try and catch you out or something like that. If you have medication, just declare it on the form and then they literally just ask me, oh what kind of medication do you have? And I said that I have painkillers. Yeah, Simple it was as very that. straightforward, the people were really nice, Yeah. we had no issues. I think as long as you have all your paperwork in order, the process will go really quickly and you'll find out the people are really nice. They're so it's nice, cool. yeah. so far. It's been a really nice experience. Yeah. I think we're gonna try and get some sleep, but first let me show you the view. Good morning from Auckland, New Zealand. <laughs> Never thought this day would come. Yep. And what a view to start the day. We had a couple hours sleep, but I'm feeling awake now. It's weird. So we think we're gonna go down for breakfast. This is our view. So beautiful. Very and cool. then we'll walk around this little waterfront and then we'll grab lunch and then we'll head to Fungare, our new home. We had such a delicious breakfast at this little restaurant on the waterfront here in the viaducts. It's our first proper meal since we left <laughs> South Africa. <laughs> Feeling like humans again. We had a nice cappuccino. Yo, coffee was good. Oh, it was so nice. It's so weird that we bought a one way ticket here. I love the city view from like the waterfront and the iconic sky tower which lights up at night. We are back where we started after walking around and exploring this amazing city. So we're gonna get picked up soon yeah. and then we're going through to Bangare. We've been enjoying the drive so far. It's so, so beautiful out here in the North Island. And now we stopped at a lookout point. And, oh, you must see the views. So we're looking at Fungare in the distance and just farmlands around you. Green, very cool. <laughs> We 
just got to our Airbnb in Fungaray and oh my word is this place amazing. I just have to show you. Cookies. Chips. <laughs> Coffee. And there's bread, jam, fruits, milk. This is amazing. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching our travel day video. We hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions about our experience, let us know down in the comments. But for now, we've been in this Airbnb for a whole week already here in Whangarei. Now we're gonna move to a new Airbnb and it's gonna be by the coast. So if you're interested in our experience during our first few days in our new city, make sure to watch the next video. See you then. Account is still not set up. <gasps> look! We are about to go have a look at a possible rental. Wow, this place. We're really holding thumbs that we get this one.